Mark, thank you so much for uh, joining us today on the show. And do you want to kick off with um, telling us a few things we can do um, with regards to our mobile phones? Reducing the use of cell phones and maybe not having them constantly on would be the first step. I don't see any need why they should be constantly on. Everyone has voicemail. Everyone has short message service and stuff like that. So if you really miss a call, then you can get it later. I mean, it was not a problem in the olden days when we had answering machines. Everyone laughed them because they were the latest toys back then at that time. And today it must be constantly on and I don't see why. So just reducing it a little bit would be a good idea maybe. And um, by turning them off for a few hours or when you're not having cellular service anyway, riding the underground, for example, or something like that, um, would be the first step and not leaving them turned on like that. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, um, there's airplane mode that we can make use of. I, I have a, um, a mobile phone, which I use, but it does spend almost all, its entire day in airplane mode. And I tend to use it for the various other functions, just video camera. Absolutely. One switch, you just throw one switch in airplane mode and you are mostly um, on the safe side. You are not always on the safe side. You have to make sure that <clears throat> Wi-Fi is probably also going off because it is sometimes disconnected from the airplane mode, which means um, basically the wireless cellular communications. And sometimes you have also to make sure that the Wi-Fi um, function is also off. But yeah. OK, just throw these switches and you're fine. Absolutely. So so it is possible just to turn airplane mode off selectively a couple of times a day. Those that's, it, you can even go as far as holding a, a mobile phone in a selfie stick. Um, Dr. McCullough demonstrated that, that if you held it at, a, at about a meter away from you, you, you've mitigated against the worst effects of it um, while, while in that um, actual operating mode. <laughs> yes, it's all possible. I mean, it, it looked a bit cumbersome to me. I would rather put it on the table in front of me or something like that and then I'm not even me too. By the stick. Um, that's, that's even better maybe um, but anyway there are solutions and a selfie stick is something everybody has as well these days so why not use them for this <laughs> yeah absolutely Another thing is using mobile phones in cars, of course. Um, be careful using a, a, a mobile phone inside a vehicle. It's an electric, it's a metal shell, and it acts to some extent uh, as a Faraday cage where um, signals bounce around inside the, 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 uh, the, the, inside the structure. So it, it's a good idea to, to avoid uh, operating Absolutely. phones in the car. And the phones, they are so intelligently made these days, they just power up in order to still maintain the connection, and then you are exposed to even more. Uh, because that's the way it it has to be designed in order to function. So it's so, going to crank. Does that um, mean it's going to crank its power up in the car in order to make sure that the bounced around signal can actually get out? I suppose that's how it's working. Isn't it? Yes, the phone the phone basically powers up to its maximum um, transmission, which is one watt or maybe two watts in some cases. GSM is two watts, but the um, eighteen hundred and nineteen hundred networks they have one watt as a maximum. Um, anyway. So um, this maximum is reached when you're in the car because the phone tries to do what's technically the, the right thing, but it's not healthy for you. So uh, th this is interesting. Also, with regards to airplane mode and connectivity, you know, you can selectively turn on and off your Wi-Fi, your network connection and your Bluetooth. Um, generally, I can on, on my phone, on the iPhone and um, various others. It's similar. So sometimes, for example, if you know that you're on just using Bluetooth, turn the others off or, or turn off what, whichever one you're not using. I mean, that again, that's a small step towards reducing your, your exposure. It is easy and it's just one step as you said it's it's just one switch and you just have to know them you have to know where they are they are usually very easy to find in, in settings so um it's just something you get you have to get used to and, mm. and then you can do it and if you want health if if you don't want accelerated aging on steroids, then this is what you have to do. Just in case we didn't mention it, of course, sp using the phone on speaker is is uh, almost all the time is absolutely uh, the way to go, unless you really do need privacy. Um, so a speakerphone very handy. You can just put the phone down there and and, st and not even touch it and and have a very good conversation with someone. The microphones are very very good. Um, it's not really a limitation. Yes, that's true. And and speaker means uh, the real speaker um, and and not uh, earphones because earphones have other problems. Again, they they connect to the phone and and make all these um, wireless uh, signals and the microwave radiation travel into your ear and directly into your head, 
which you don't want. Either. What about those air tube versions, Mark? Do you know about those? Because because there's uh, yes. there was oh they they're better, aren't they? Fundamentally better because they I think they're just using a tube of air. Is that right? Absolutely yes. That's a very simple workaround. Um, they just have the earpieces and they put a little piece of plastic tube over it, and then they um, just put the tube end into the ear and and the. Uh, wired connection and the earpieces they end like 20 cent centimeters or maybe a foot from your head and um, that is pretty good already because um, the radiation stops there and then you only have the air tubes um, transmitting the audio you want. Fantastic so that that's essentially a, a snapshot of mobile phones your fertility and the capacity for you to even have children and grandchildren so it's a really big deal. Um, what else do we need to know about Wi-Fi Mark? Just as you said, um, hardwiring everything, and it's not just the health aspects. It's also better privacy. It is also um, data protection. It is data security. It is your whole network integrity. Every professional network installation is always a wired one, um, at least where it matters. So if there's business critical content, then it has to be protected. It has to be protected by wired networks, uh, no matter how safe everyone says them the encryptions of the wireless ones are they are not they are the easiest ones to break i mean there are better ones around these days but still from the data protection standpoint it's also interesting and it's also useful to use hardwired connections but to come back to our um topic of the emf um radiation um it is just the better way it is also the faster way by the way if you want some other benefits um on top of just not being exposed to the unhealthy effects, you also get faster connections, faster downloads, maybe a movie with less freezing and, and whatever you have. So I wouldn't know why I should use uh, wireless um, unless I have to, and maybe there's, there's no wired connection around. You just need to get familiar with everything that's, that's in it, and that's usually these days this so-called smart technology, and then you have to know how to turn it off. It's easy as that. But you probably have to refer to the manual and to just uh, read this F word manual as the saying goes. And uh, then you are fine and you know what you can do. Totally. So the last thing I suppose with Wi-Fi is to also remember that games consoles, Xboxes um, and all these sorts of things, um, you know, and make sure they're switched off or their Wi-Fi is disabled um, or even pull, pull the plug out of the wall if you need to when they're not in use. Better still, go and find something else to do outside, <laughs> maybe. Better, yes. So let's move into another category then where, where people need to be aware, and that is the use of Bluetooth technology. There are so many devices coming in now, and one that springs to mind to me, Mark, is the is the sort of modern ghetto blaster, where you know you just turn up a party with this fantastic speaker, you know, modern technology, excellent sound systems. It's Bluetooth, and you just hook your mobile phone up to it. Bingo! I mean, what a great idea. In theory, unfortunately, the Bluetooth is the is the bad part of the idea, and the fact that it's unwired, although it's immensely convenient, is is the damage done to our health. Yes, it is convenient, and uh, during a party, it might not even be so bad because, I mean, how long does a party last? It's maybe, okay, if, if you're really young, then it's maybe eight hours, but <laughs> usually it's more like two or three hours, and, and then you're exposed to Bluetooth during that time. Still not good, but um, if it's only that source of Bluetooth, then you would be pretty good um, off. But on the other hand, it's it's um, the the constant exposure again, and the Bluetooth um, devices they are everywhere. And um, if if you got speakers in your home stereo system, for example, then you're all the time. So Bluetooth headphones are a no no. You know, I've seen some people working and uh, you know enjoying enjoying their day, whistling away with a Bluetooth um, headphone, perhaps for a noisy equipments and stuff. Not a good idea, guys. You're much better off, uh, you know, with wired headphones with playing from your mobile phone in your pocket. It's just uh, much, much safer. Manufacturers, they, they are increasingly pushing in this direction. I mean, um, there have been iPhones by Apple which don't even have the conventional plug anymore. And, and they want to replace everything by Bluetooth because they can control the digital restrictions management more easily because you cannot tap into the signal and, and um, make pirate copies and, and stuff like that. So for the manufacturers, it seems to be a good idea to have it. On the other hand, they have turned back and they are now reintroducing the conventional plugs. So obviously there are people out there 
who tell them they want the other solution and they want to stay with the conventional one, which is the standard hardwired um, earphone, which of course, for all the reasons we mentioned, um, I would do too. I think it's really important that people remember that we have consumer power and if, if we if we again want to, to claim to be more conscious than otherwise you know we, we need to know about these things and, and it, it, it's just irrational to to act against something that we know to be harmful so it's just worth um, people sort of bearing in mind and and with things like Bluetooth uh, again maybe using in the car it, it is it, you know it's obviously safer in terms of using a phone in the car on Bluetooth but um, again that Far Faraday cage effect um, making the, 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 the harmful effects worse. So let's move on to our second category now of remediation devices and, and let's t talk a little bit about some of the things uh, that you can buy to, to, to help um, mitigate your exposure basically and, and the first one that springs to me although I haven't got it right here at the moment is my Faraday bag for keeping my mobile phone in. So, um, they cost about um, you know $15 or so on, uh, on Amazon. Um, a useful thing you know you know that your your device is completely not emitting anything if it's in that faraday bag and and these these sorts of things that even extends to sleeping bags you can sleep in a faraday bag uh, to to protect yourself at night so these these things are very very useful to know there, there is a range of products available and they're usually based all on the same methods and techniques um, which is um, having some silver um, lining inside or some some particles that uh, um, that align and, and um, build up a little kind of mesh network or something like that and then they are um, grounded somewhere to the mains outlet so you, you basically mean that things like those faraday sleeping nets you can get those faraday sleeping nets can't you that, that, that have silver thread um, basically, the Faraday cage um, or the the, the uh, electromagnetic field and pulse microwave radiation blocking effect, the Faraday effect is achieved through this mesh of. of... Yes, they're they're among them, but but it goes even further. There's there's even building materials and building biologists. They have a whole um, range of tools available to uh, remediate all sorts of um, exposure you can have after all these, um, after we mentioned all these sources of um, wireless uh, communications and radiation and radar and whatever. So um, you, you also have real building materials like mats. You have special paints with silver particles in it. And, and then you have only um, some, some corners you have to ground um, after everything is applied. I've also seen for the first time someone um, remediating their roof. This is something I have thought about myself already. And I um, thought of chicken wire or of, of several layers of chicken wire um, put together in order to reduce the size of the um, net. And um, actually there are even smaller ones available. They look like um, traction mats for, for a car or something like that, or even smaller with, with one millimeter or 0.5 millimeter. Um, networks uh, net, net in it and they are just um, covered under the roof tiles or something and um, they can be applied um, retrospectively to a building even you you can do it afterwards so if you just want to redo re redo your roof um, then you can apply these mats and again you have to ground them properly um, after they are applied and and then you get a very nice um, shielding that takes away up to 90, 95, maybe even 99% of, of the um, common frequencies that are flying around outside these days. Yeah, and um, also, it's, of course, um, it's worth mentioning that you can get these, uh, you can you can earth your, your computer, your laptop by simply um, connecting uh, in through the USB socket direct to, to an earth um, socket. That's a device that I got recently, which I noticed collapsed the electrical field around my uh, MacBook Pro here, it collapsed it from about a meter and a half out down to a matter of inches. So so it's very important to, to earthing is very important in, in dealing with these electrical fields. Yes, absolutely. These are the smaller steps you can st you can take, but also the faster ones because they are much easier and and start at the very um, places, at the emitting places and the units you, you may use. And particularly like notebook computers, which you are 
touching most of the time because <laughs> that's the entire purpose of the computer um and and when it's a notebook then everything is integrated and even the keyboard is then probably with a very high electrical field if you have it separately like 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 this one where you just have the keyboard um separately then there's a lot less of an electric field emitted but there may still be um, some because it's traveling over the wire of course that that is a wired keyboard is it mark <laughs> it's not a wi-fi one is it <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a wired one yes um but uh, because, because that's another thing isn't it to be aware of isn't it with the, the, the you know you, people have their their desktop and their screen and they might have a wireless um um device as a key you know remote keyboard so another thing to be aware of yes absolutely that's that's the second source then again but but then you would have bluetooth all around again and, and that falls into the third category we mentioned earlier so uh, as well as um, um, all these sort of Faraday uh, things like sleeping bags and nets, there's, of course, uh, all the EMF resistant clothing, beanies, vests and underwear and all that sort of stuff that are coming on the market. And, and as these things are emerging, these products, obviously, we can't claim to be comprehensive. It's uh, people's ingenuity. More things are coming on the market all the time. But it's a really good idea to be aware of this because because these sorts of things can help protect us. And, and another um, thing that comes under remediation devices is things like um, um, isolating your sleeping area from electrical fields because even if you just have a ring main that isn't in a conduit pipe uh, around the wall and your bed is parked next to it or you're sleeping next to it um, the the unshielded electrical cable um, if, if unless it's isolated will be humming with 50 hertz or 60 hertz and that electrical field um, is detrimental while we sleep as well. So things like isolation switches, in order to isolate the, the um, electricity from at least away from your bed area, if not your entire bedroom, um, it is a really good idea to sleep in an EMF free zone, not only with your mobile phone switched off and your Wi-Fi switched off and all of these things um, kill all those electrical fields and then maybe even use an electrical grounding sheet to ground your body to the earth electrically and make use of those free um, uh, electrons when your body's in that rejuvenative phase at night. Really important to not be exposed to the extra um, reactive oxygen species and, and DNA damage going on in your cells from the electrical fields but to actually avail yourself to the free electrons via your earthing sheet that you may elect to sleep on so that's worth bearing in mind as well these sorts of remediation devices it only makes uh, sense though after you did all the other things um, of getting rid of the sources of the electromagnetic fields um, because if you don't and only use a grounded sheet, for example, then you would even increase the flow of electricity through your body because then everything of these um, distortions comes in and, and your body um, is um, a little bit like an antenna and then you just um, collect it all around and then you um, get rid of it via the sheet and, and you have an increased electrical flow. So do the remediation and the switching off and the avoidance and everything first and, and then get also the sheet you mentioned and then um, you have probably the best setup you can have that that, that is a there. really good point thank you for making that um, and just to hammer it home I'm, I'm even going to repeat it I think before you use a grounding sheet or any grounding device it's really important to have eliminated all the electrical fields first that is that is so yeah so important the risk or the danger is always that people might see the um, grounding sheet as a silver bullet and say, okay, that's that's very easy, I can do that. And then I can turn my mobile phone on. No, you can't. That's that's absolutely the, the point you have to remember. And that's good that you pointed it out again. There's that reminds me, Mark, of another really important point. And, uh, you know, we're talking here about remediation devices. We're talking about things that can help protect us or avoid exposure and one thing i think is very important to be able, people to be aware of is things that that are claiming to harmonize or use with crystals or something you know devices with a load of uh, pretty stones in it that's sort of plugged in somewhere that really isn't going to cut it ladies and gentlemen i th these things i believe um are are, are a scam to the extent that um, I've uh, measured some of them and played around with them and, and, and found it very difficult to detect any um, uh, you know, effect. So I, I'm, I'm very, very skeptical about those kinds of devices. I believe they might be um, useful if there are very, very low levels, residual levels of um, EMFs coming in and maybe they can harmonize that. 
when when you can measure yes. a field one side of a Faraday fabric and and not the other side, you know, you, you can see that it's actually happening in reality. 